Okay, so as we all predicted, fanboys are running with this uh, narrative goal line that um, this is no longer free for free. This is now Halo Studios. Well, now we have the full ability to debunk that statement outright. So this is that going to be that video. So it's going to be a nice little tidy video for you to post around and say, look, here's the facts of the matter. Okay. So here's the facts of the matter. This is the Halo Infinite end credits. I've put this up on Twitter. As you can see, Bonnie Ross. Bonnie Ross is gone. But Pierre was the vice president of Free for Free Industries. He is now the president. Right? He, he just moved up to where Bonnie Ross is. Corporate vice president, head of Three Four Three Industries. Well, now Pierre is in that role and Bonnie is removed on to other projects. Okay? Pierre is now the lead. Of three four three, but he, he was the he was the fucking vice president of three four three for all this time. He just wasn't in front of the camera, so now they're putting him in front of the camera. Like, hey, Pierre's in charge now. Everything's gonna be different. Pierre's been there since the beginning. Pierre was fucking licking Bonnie's fucking fanny this whole time. So what the fuck are you talking about? Okay, this is bullshit, man. Pierre, like I say, I, I, we gave him a chance, and what's the first thing he's done? He hasn't fired any of the shills, and he's already following the same fucking rhetoric. He's already putting out the same fucking shit where they just feed the information to shills, and shills are out there fucking saying, oh, look at this, and that's the first thing he's done. He's molded this new brand, and the first thing he's done is destroy it by putting it all out there to shills. Paid shills that they still pay. Still, the 343 Industries is gone. Get the Forerunner program. The Forge Council, the pilot system, all that stuff. What is like to do with like the shill base, that's all still going. So nothing has really changed. They've just rebranded the same exact company. Yet here we are again. So the head of 343 is now Pierre, who was there in the first place. Melissa Boone, chief of staff. She was fucking there. She's still fucking there. Okay. David Berger, this is a big one. Head of production, he's still fucking there. He's been there since Halo 4. Nothing has changed. These people are still in positions. They've just shuffled them around, okay? I'm not going to go through everybody, but feel free to look up all these other names. Obviously, Joe Staten is gone. We know that. But the main ones, Pierre, Berge, these are the ones I consider the main ones, but Melissa Boone, the, these are people that are still involved, okay? And then we got... Um, Chris Lee is apparently still involved with the game, even though he was taken off as the lead. Frank O'Connor is gone, okay? Uh, and Brian Jared has gone from community manager, and now he's moved up into one of these roles, apparently. He's moved up into one. Maybe he moved into Frank O'Connor's role, creative director. I don't know. But basically, Brian Jared is still there, and he has moved up the ranks. Okay, so all these people already work there. All the people that are still in the management positions, the head of the positions, are still there, okay? So at least at the time of this video, as I understand it, as best as I can understand, and they are included, most of them, in the new video, the four people of the apocalypse are Pierre, Melissa Boone, and Elizabeth Van Wyck, and Brian Jared Sketch. Those are the four people who are now in the leadership positions at 343. And they were all there previously. Okay, very slight alteration. Melissa Boone hasn't been there since the beginning of the Halo Infinite, but she has been there for a long time working on the game behind the scenes. But in the original credits, she's not there. But that's the only person that's changed. And she's the worst one of the freaking bunch. She's basically replacing Bonnie Ross as the person who's doing the diversity hires. So that's going to end real great, isn't it? Melissa Boone was pretty high up. Elizabeth Van Witt was pretty high up. Pierre was pretty high up. These people were just not on camera. They were just not in the documentaries. Bonnie Ross was in the documentaries. You know, Joe Staten was in the documentaries. Dave Berger was in the documentaries, okay? These people, are, you know, Chris Lee was in the documentaries. And then you've got Unishek and people like that. And that weird guy, who, we won't even get into that. But anyway, we got all that shit. But basically, I'm just going to point this out. So let's go through the video, right? So we've got Unishak, obviously, who's 
basically the soul of 343 if they had a soul um this guy is a literally a shill that got paid to be the community manager he was a massive halo 5 fanboy uh, melissa boone has been working there since before halo infinite came out uh, this guy's Epic Games licensing. I don't think he's anything to do with 343. He's just in the video. Uh, this blonde woman here is Elizabeth Van Wick. Okay. Why it doesn't show in there? It, does. it shows a name here. There, look, see? Elizabeth Van Wick. Okay. Chief Operating Officer. What was she in? Elizabeth Van Wick, Officer, Halo franchise. See? So she's in the same role she was, okay? These people are the same people that were there previously. So why are you getting excited about the same exact fucking people? Oh, they changed the artists, maybe. These are artists. They have nothing to do with the leadership, okay? The leadership hasn't changed. So the fact that people are saying the leadership has changed is an absolute lie. All they've done is shuffled them around. So Bonnie Ross has gone, sure, but she's just moved on to another project. Everybody else pretty much is here apart from, you know, the Frank O'Connor and Joe Staten. Joe Staten would be the one that you wanted to keep because he's actually from the original Halo team that actually made the actual games from back in the day. He's the one that gets the freaking boot. What's that all about? So the one guy maybe you would want to keep has gone, and everybody else has kept their jobs, apparently. And yet this is a new company. It's absolute bullshit, man. It's, it's straight-out bullshit. So let's get into the meat of the video, okay? So we got this post on Reddit a few hours ago. Um, Will Watts. Now, I thought Will Watts was the guy in uh, Ready Player One. But anyway, this is Will Watts formerly of 343 Industries, okay? Okay, so this is supposedly the real Will Watts. This is his YouTube channel. You can see he's got some stuff from Halo 4 years ago. He worked on Halo 4. And this is a post from him on Reddit. He got let go in 2023 or something, right? This is his opinion on the rebranding okay so this is an actual dev okay so he may be you know salty about getting loot getting the boots or whatever so we're going to take it with a grain of salt what he's got to say but we are going to now listen to what this man has to say so he says i worked for them as a top performing industry animator for 13 years i do not recommend working for three for three industries brackets halo studios it's like comcast calling themselves x infinity and hoping nobody notices okay there you go. So that's from somebody who worked there. They haven't changed anything. The devs themselves. People are always saying to me, oh, you never listen to what the devs themselves are saying. Well, th there you go. There's a developer who worked there since Halo 4 who only recently lost his job is saying that the leadership has not changed at all, even though we can see it hasn't changed at all because we've just been over it. But the man himself here is saying it. So where do the fanboys have to go now to, to prove that this is the... Oh, the, the, clearly it's different leadership. It, it's, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. 343 goes on, they just change the name. And they think they can get away with this. This is worse than if they just left things as they are. Because now, now they're just trying to be even more deceitful than they already were. They're just lying through their teeth. Oh, it's a different company. No, it fucking isn't. That's a lie. That's another lie from 343RE. Mr. Canuck, isn't it, Chief Canuck? It's another lie, but 343 never lie, do they, Mr. Canuck? Okay. Steer clear and stay safe out there. They are not worth it. Feel free to private message, okay? To be clear, employees have been some of the industry's finest because we have fond memories of Halo and the Microsoft... Uh, pay is nice but their leadership is cancer this is from somebody who worked there their leadership is cancer he said this all right pierre especially okay and he's the fucking lead now right and you'll hate how creatively limiting they are 
I have no doubt that even though the execs finally gave in to switching to Unreal Engine, they will find a way to organizationally make it unfun to work there. It says, they screwed us. We fought for years for them to switch to Unreal, even before Halo Infinite production started. And throughout it, the directors and Pierre fought against it with the rest of them. Pierre came back, laid off the loudest voices for Unreal and some of the best developers in the industry, us, and then finally took our advice. Feels good. Okay, so apparently this brilliant idea, according to this guy, this brilliant idea that Pierre came up with was actually a, an idea that Pierre was against from the beginning. Oh, well, that fucking, that makes loads of sense. So the man in charge, the man in charge, according to Mr. Will Watts, who worked at 343 Industries, apparently the man in charge now was against the exact thing that they just put out a trailer all about. The entire concept for the next game, Pierre was against from the beginning. Well, that fucking, that, that sold, sells it then, doesn't it? He's clearly a great leader. Have he done a complete fucking U-turn after letting people go who said this is what they should have done from the first place? Well, how does that make fucking any sense? But, oh, fucking hell, 343 are fucking changed. Even though it's the exact same jabronis that were working there on Halo Infinite, nothing has changed. Feel free to subscribe, guys. I'll see you later. More videos coming. Only we were playing in slip, split screen. It's a huge accomplishment for the team this year. It's a huge accomplishment for the team this year. It's a huge accomplishment for the team this year. It's a huge accomplishment for the team this year. It's a huge accomplishment for the team this year. It was a big moment, right?